Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Seashell here. As promised, I am showing you guys what I created. I did a short video uh, sneak peek talking about what I was making. And it is this coat here. This Vogue gorgeous, gorgeous coat. This is the original 1949 design. This is a... Uh, a uh, difficult well it's not difficult but it's advanced and this coat i tell you is amazing it is so beautiful pattern number here is 1669 and this was a uh, size 6 to 14 um i actually wish that i could have found a size 16 because this does fit tight and as you see, as you will see, I should say, when I model the coat, you'll see uh, exactly what I'm talking about. But this coat is just gorgeous. So I did this one, and then I did also two hats from this pattern. This is Simplicity 8573. And I did a view D. And no, not D. Uh, did view E and view C. And you are going to love these hats. This pattern is so easy. You could put this hat together, any one of these hats, within, I would say, two hours. Just two hours at best. It, it was so quick and easy to assemble. And this is, uh, again, Simplicity 8573. So I thought that I would pair these two together just to give it that vintage look. And I think that that is exactly what I was able to pull off. So what I want to show you is first uh, one of the hats. This is the uh, view, what I say, view E, this one. Yes, so it was this one. And this is like a little slouchy hat. This is so cute. Um, and it was interesting the way that this came about. And it's fully lined. And I used some of that herringbone um, fabric that I had uh, left over that I made with uh, the cape. So I did this one. And in the picture here, you can pair it with flowers. And I made a flower, but I wasn't too pleased with the way, you know, that it turned out. But, you know, that's kind of how it was. So you see, I still have some pins in it because it still needed some work. But that's kind of the gist of how you wear this hat with the little uh, flower on the side. But I'm going to substitute it and put a different type of flower or even maybe a brooch. So, this, uh, again, this hat was so easy to make. And then I did a second one, and that is view C. And this hat is gorgeous. So, this is view C. And I love it. I did it out of denim. And I did the lining using this uh, Eddie Bauer striped plaid. And I did the band using the same fabric. And look at the details of this band. And you can take this off. This is a, it's basically, it's like a bucket hat. Uh, just, just structured a little bit differently. But you... Curl up the edges here, and then you slide your band on like that. And you'll see how this looks when I model this as well. But I thought that these two hats just turned out very, very nice. So to pair with the hat, I had to make a bag. And I made a little wallet what what do you call it like a clutch bag 
And this was real easy to put together. I used some denim here. And then I lined this one with the same fabric that I did with um, this hat. So this is actually a matching set if you look at it. And I found this nice little uh, pin, this little brooch. And I just put that on the front of it. And this is just a basic envelope style clutch. I added some hardware on here. Some beads, pearls, chains. Just to give it a little pizzazz. And this one has a little pocket. And that's the way it's lined inside like that. And then what I did differently. Um, so that when uh, you hold like clutches. You know how you normally hold clutches? Like you could do it like this. Right? Hold it like that. I just thought I would give it a little twist. Because what I also did, I have a magnetic snap. And that goes like that. But I wanted just to add a little pizzazz to it. Uh, upcycling and reusing, you know, denim. So this is like a back of a waistband. And this just sort of just keeps that closed like that. Gives it a, a little bit of more chic look, I think. So, that's the back. Just a simple little clutch bag. And I made this, like, in one day. Just really, really easy. So, I thought that that would go good with the bag. Or with the hat. So, in keeping with the denim for the Vogue coat here. And this is, um, this is a, uh, almost an ankle length, pretty much close to your ankle. Uh, but I made mine a little bit shorter. I just wanted it just a, a T not shorter. So I made it out of denim. You know, guys know I love me some denim. And so... You can see portions of it, but here's the collar. Love it. I did it in uh, two different types of denim. Here's the detail of that pocket. And then I found some buttons that I like. And it takes three buttons just like this. And I added those like that. And then I also added some belt loops. And I needed to have a, a good closure with that as well. So I did a, a belt with that. So those are just some of the uh, the features of this coat. And I'll model this, give you a better look. And then we'll come back and talk about these products. So I'm going to go put the coat and the hats on and model it for you. And then you can get a real good look. All right. Okay, here it is. Here's the hat. Here's the coat. Here's the bag. Let me just step out so you can see. And it's a full length dress coat. And I love the pleats in the back and the fullness. And again, I just paired it with um, a belt that I made out of denim. And you can see the three buttons here. And then the pocket detail. But I love this collar. It is just so elegant. And I love the the color blocking that I did with the denim. But let's talk about this hat, right? So, love it. And then again, the bag. And this can be held just like this. Or, as I said, a clutch bag. Just like that. 
I just love the way this turned out. It's just a gorgeous coat. Gorgeous. So now I'm going to show you the other hat that I made. So this is the other hat. And I just took that little pin that was on the bag off. And I just added to the hat. And this has the little scrunchy effect. But I love it. It gives it that vintage feel. And it's such a comfortable hat. Just so cute. Love this pattern. So tell me what you think. All right, let's get back to the table so we can talk about this pattern or these both of these patterns. Okay, back at the sewing table. So let's talk about this coat. Um, even though it says it's advanced, I think the reason for it is because of the details and as you can see by the pattern piece here or the uh, drawing here i don't know if you can see it but yeah it's a little bit more structured um the collar is just absolutely gorgeous uh, i think the only thing that i probably encountered uh was doing the pockets and the style of it was just a little bit different. It's a flap like that, but the pocket itself is like this. So it's real short, but I think it just, it flows with the design so well. And I love this piece here that gives you this distinction here. Just absolutely love the details in this coat. And the sleeve ends, you can probably do a buttonhole. I was thinking about doing a, another, like a denim tab and then put a button over there. So um, I, I'll probably go back and revisit that. Um, because one, I need to find some more of these buttons that I got. And like I said, the belt. Now, I just did some things different than the way you see the coat here, of course, right? So, one, I did it in denim. And then, two, instead of doing the buttonholes, I did some of these um, strips of denim. And I just made little, um, I don't know what you call these. Like, just, I don't know, I call them like little um, open key uh, keyhole buttons tabs however you want to call them but closures but i wanted just to do that um because i just thought it added a different um um design element to it and again uh it's a little bit shorter and that's the way i wanted it and i'll flip it over so you can see the back and how the uh, the yoke, the back yoke comes down and then it opens up into this pleat. And I just think that is just absolutely gorgeous. And this belt works really well with it. And here's the way the collar looks in the back. Now you do have your shoulder darts. You have the waist or the back darts and you have the front uh, underarm bust darts here. But that's about it. This coat is just amazing. It is just gorgeous and I cannot wait to wear this when the weather gets a little bit cooler, of course. So that again is Vogue. 1669 and i'm gonna move this to the side because i want to talk about the hats again this pattern here really easy put to put together and you get uh, five different versions of hats here so love it love it love it 
I think this this hat really turned out to be really great. And then this is where I said I added the little um, little brooch on the side, and it does gives it it gives it that uh nineteen twenties thirties look, you know, back in that era. And I think it's just cute. It just turned out really really cute. I love it. I love the way everything turned out and uh with the other hat too and i think i just put that to the side let me go grab that one okay so here's the other hat again and i'm going to take this band off because i just want to show you um the detail in doing this band just absolutely a nice a nice touch and i used um this metal hardware here. And I think what I probably will do is, um, if I want to switch it out, you know, doing different colors and, and different techniques, I could probably even use a tie and put it through just like that, but just absolutely gorgeous. And you just slide it on just like that. So that's that. And then um, this bag again, just really a great accent piece for this hat. Uh, my motivation or my, my inspiration, I should say, um, was actually taken from this. This was a gift that was uh, given to me in one of my craft swaps. And I thought, I was like, wow, that's a nice little little clutch. So I just used this as the pattern and mimicked and made this bag. So this was my inspiration piece here. So I love the way everything turned out. Highly recommend these two patterns if you're looking for um, that vintage look and to restyle and do things, um, upcycle. It, it was it was just a pleasure just a absolute pleasure so thank you for joining me today but here this is one thing i do want to say thank you to all my new subscribers i really so appreciate you guys so much and to all my subscribers thank you thank you thank you i i, I can't say thank you enough i just really appreciate your support and you coming and watching and supporting me so with that i will close this video out because i'm going to start on another project um not sure what it is but i know i'm going to grab some of my patterns and go through and just start making some things so you'll see me again in another video real soon so take care everyone stay blessed Bye bye